We all hate racism, sexism, and all kinds of hatred, right? No, actually, we all don't, and that's part of the problem. The qualifier of all means everyone, and then, again, unfortunately, we all don't. And this is a topic that's been on my mind for quite some time, and I've seen uh, quite a bit of memes and whatnot that are just inaccurate and don't really tell the whole truth of a story or account for the experience of everyone who has had to go through certain things like sexism, racism, prejudice, hate, and you know, that, that kind of stuff that we would be great if it were just gone from society completely. And that's something that we definitely need to do in an intelligent and intellectual way. And we're going to have that short discussion now. But first, I'm going to talk about a little bit of my experiences growing up. You know, come from a southern town in the south. And at, at points in time, it was, it was difficult. Uh, my family is multi-ethnic. Definitely have different races in my family. I used to be asked all the time, what's all in your, what all are you? Is usually the way it was phrased or... What race are you? Um, because I guess I looked a, l a little different and they saw my parents and I'm like, well, you're not white, you're not black. What are you? I mean, that's literally I was asked a lot by African Americans, black, African Americans, white people. It was, got that a lot. It was a little annoying, um, not to, to be honest. I kind of wish I had the confidence I do now back then I would handle that a different way. And then it was also even worse experiences where uh, where at the time there would be certain things said to me this was by more of uh, Caucasian individuals that were now I could see had a little bit of tint of racism in them and more from the African-American community at times the ones that would say these things there were things pretty much said that Oh, why are you trying to be white? Because I talking about the classes I had, APs and honors classes. Why are you, why do you talk like that? And why are you trying to be white? And I never really knew that education was a was your care for education, wanting to advance in the world, had to do with the color of your skin. Which is um, looking back, really silly thing for anyone to ever, to say to anyone. And then stuff like that bothered me. And I would just hear a lot of stuff like that. So when you when I see and come across these conversations or these memes or these type of conversations that try to diminish that side of it, it gets uh, it gets old because <laughs> I've had to deal with it in a certain way. And I'm talking about more of the all blank or blank statements like that. Because it's like all white people are racist type thing that comes up a lot. All men are dogs or all these types of comments that are inclusive of everyone of a specific gender, sect, or whatever else you want to say. But it's not at a, it's not at a specific enough level to basically say something like all Nazis are racist because they are. <laughs> That's literally the ideology of Nazism. What were you talking about at a more broad level of all men are blank, all white people are blank, all humans are blank? I mean, you're 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 going to say you're going to say something that's extremely inaccurate, and I think that's that's important because there's conversations around that black people cannot be racist, and they try to say that that's prejudice, but when you look at it. Anybody can be racist on an individual level. And as a journalist, that's just something if I, that's just true. It's a factual statement. You take away any emotion out of it, any appeals to emotion fallacy, then you see that, yes, definitely everyone can be racist at an individual level. That's just how it is. Systematic racism is something completely different. Systematic racism is is a system of government that allows one specific group to be favored over other groups. Systematic racism is completely different than individual racism. That's just a factual statement that it seems to be ignored 
quite a bit because, I, again, personal experience, I've had to deal with a lot of individual racism from individuals with dark black skin. And that's just true. And it's unfortunate. No one should be racist. No one should have these hatred, hatred toward other people for arbitrary reason as skin color, religion, hair. I mean, just stupid things that people try that they justify why they hate another person. It's just ridiculous. Care about someone's character and nothing else. Um, that's something I wish were the case, but of course, it just isn't the case. And then you also have like the all men are dog, all men are blank, all men are bastards, stuff like that as well. Or again, like what, when you're trying to, because I've had to have this conversation with a number of people I grew up with and acquaintances that I try to, to introduce feminism to them and not the, the Dorkin form of feminism. But I actually want to tell them that, yes, equal, this is about equality. You just want everyone to be treated equal regardless of their sex or gender. It's that simple. That's what it's supposed to be about. But then they always will point to those comments like, well, someone who claimed to be a feminist said this. And I'm like, yeah, they, they said that, but that's not what the movement is about. Let's have a conversation about the actual facts and what it is you can do to actually help. And yes, I definitely agree more. Men definitely need to to be aware and cognizant and try to help uh, women to not have to deal with these things. This is what's happening with Me Too, the conversation around sexual misconduct, harassment, and rape that is an important conversation, but you can cannot discount that words actually mean something. And yes, this might have something to do with me having a philosophy background as well as political science background and, and seeing how these words fit into equations and how these words can affect those who otherwise would be willing to help, but they take what was said personally. Should they take that personally? I mean, no. In a perfect world, no, but also in a perfect world, they wouldn't be phrased all men are bastards or all men do blank. They wouldn't be phrased that way. So I'm not excusing them completely for turning themselves off to wanting to talk about a fair society. Same thing could be said for white racists as well, whether they, because everything is on a scale. And I had this pointed out to me as well today when I was talking to someone else about this is almost everything's a scale because uh, of this, the meme that, Caused me to do some thinking. Also, I had to deal with uh, transgender individuals as well. And it's like almost everything is is on a spectrum. There's rarely any black or white things, whether it's straightness or whatnot, cisgenders, all that stuff. Because all these things are social constructs. Like, what is it to be a man? That's a lot of stuff I'm being, I, I advocate for. That's a societal thing that they created to say that. You have to be do this, 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 and this, and this to be a man. No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, no, you don't. You don't have to do blank, 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 or treat women like blank to be a man. That has nothing to do with this societal, cultural crap that doesn't mean anything when it comes to your relations with another person. What is it to be a woman? Same thing. Societal, insert, you do this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, then you're a woman. That's made up, that there's no factual basis in it other than what people put upon them. And that and that causes young boys and young girls to go through this growing up and have to go through these things. And it's just not right. It's the same thing. Say, you're not black enough. Same concept. Like, why are you putting these thoughts in people's young kids' heads to say these things when they should be able to express themselves however they so choose. And that, I think that's an extremely important conversation going on right now that seems to be lost because we're, a lot of people seem to be convinced that we should, I don't really even know how to say that, they, they just 
think that, oh, of course we can say these things. And if you see a problem with it, then you're 100% incorrect. And that's not how any intellectual conversation should work. That you're, There's a problem with you if you don't like the way I phrase this thing because you should see past the words. No, we shouldn't say all blanks are blank in these type of cases. The same thing goes through the police as well. And I've seen this with people that will say these kind of things. And they, when they get into a situation, they also call the police. What we should be pushing for is to help those police officers who are good and try to reform the system so we don't have these issues where people are getting hurt and abused by police officers when it is completely 100% unnecessary. I don't understand why these conversations are so, so difficult to have without everyone starting to scream, whether it is that's has something to do with internet culture, not willing to see outside of a specific constructed bubble of ideology you want to see, I'm not sure. Uh, and that's something that society is going to have to work on, especially right now when it comes to the conversation around sexual assault again. If we're going to make a change and leap forward as a society, as I had an interview with Leona Kersner recently, we're going to have to have these conversations and invite everyone in and not exclude anyone who's had to go through these situations to talk. And bring about change that can be enforced in the workplace, that can be enforced in the community, that can be enforced at the governmental level. Because that's a change that needs to be made, and it's unfortunate that it hasn't that it was ever a change that would ever need to be made. It should be common sense type things. Just don't don't rape. That should be a common sense thing, but it's not. Oh well. So we're going to have. Um, a lot of serious conversations coming forward. And I just wanted to get this out there and have a little conversation about that and just give my perspective on the importance of this issue and why words do actually matter. Because you're going to, if words are phrased a certain way, we're going to end up turning off people who can actually help and uh, help bring about change in society that's positive. And we definitely need to make these changes as quickly as possible. And we're at a tipping point for that, especially with the Trump presidency and everything that's going on all at once. So, yeah, those are just my thoughts, and I just wanted to get those out there. And uh, thanks for listening. Stay tuned to the, the channel for more content.